Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a, a for a spoon and fork holder. So let's get started. First, you're going to need two 6x4 plates like this and put them on the floor like this or on your table like this. And then you're going to want to make this three layered. Six by one, three six by ones stacked up on top of each other like this. Doesn't matter what color, just any color. For all the parts, then like this, you may put it on the back like that. And then you're gonna gonna make it's also three bricks. So on the sides they have. On this side, it's six bricks long, like this, and it's three layered. Same thing on this side. It's this side, it's eight eight bricks long, and it's three layered, and this side, it's six bricks long and three layered. And then you put, you put that all around this, from here to here to here to here. It should fit on the right leg, just like that. Just like that, and you not got a nice steady base. Like that. And then you're gonna wanna take the um an eight eight by one brick, an eight by one long brick, and then take two six by ones, stack them on each up top of each other to and then two two by ones, stack them on top of each other. And then put both of these, because 6 plus 2 equals 8, we put them both on top and it will fill up, fill it up with three layers like that. And, and it should be a pattern like orange, orange, red, red. Then you put that on the side like this. Then you make this three layers with three four by four, four by ones and then stacked on top of each other like this. Make two of those like that, and then you put them on the sides like this. And then you make another, the same thing that we made on this side. Make this one another one of those, and then put that on the other side to fill it up. Oops, fill up. Like this now you have the full body but we're not done yet so now you're gonna have to make this on this side it's twelve bricks long like this and then here it's it's eight bricks long like this and then here and here, instead of just putting a flat brick, you're gonna wanna make it oh, an upside down curve and an upside down curve. And then also over here, you're gonna wanna make an upside down curve. The top, you put over the whole thing, you put some plates to connect it together. And then you t take a slow uh, plate slope that will connect to this, the upside down slope brick and then a plate to fill up the space and then uh, bricks, uh, some brick slopes to cover up that space. And then the same thing for the other side as we did for this side. And then more the same thing as we did for this side and then the same thing as we did for this side. All of that will make this. And then what you do is you take it and then you put it on like this. On like this and up he down here there should be some space like to put an upside down minifigure or something and here and then there should be one more space blanket put it coming out and then you're make, gonna make one more of those but it's more shorter so on this side there's nine bricks long and then on this side there's six bricks long 
and then you do the same thing as we did for the top of this part and then you fit that in on the other part on the top on the top on the rest of the top like that and then you there you have it now you're going to need some too many figures one a policeman with a teacup like that that and then he's laying that it's kind of like he's laying down and then his kick foot is up and then you put him on the the very edge of like love here like that and then you are gonna need a captain from a ship ship like this and you're gonna put him on the side the opposite side as the policeman like this and looking down like that there you go and that's how you make a spoon and fork holder bye i'm gonna see you see you tomorrow bye bye or maybe today at another time bye bye